Did you know the only fatal nuclear reactor accident in U.S. history happened because one man pulled a control rod 12 inches too far? On January 3, 1961, three military operators were working alone at the SL-1 experimental reactor in Idaho. It was routine maintenance on a cold winter night. Richard Legg, John Burns, and Richard McKinley had done this dozens of times before. But when Legg manually lifted the central control rod, something went catastrophically wrong. He pulled it too far, just 12 inches beyond the safe limit. In milliseconds, the reactor went critical. A massive steam explosion erupted with the force of a bomb. The 26-pound control rod shot upward like a missile, tearing through Legg's body and pinning him to the ceiling. The other two men were thrown against the walls, dying slowly from massive radiation exposure. Rescuers couldn't enter for hours because of the deadly radioactivity. When they finally recovered the bodies, they were so contaminated that Leg had to be buried in a lead-lined coffin. One small mistake, three lives lost to the invisible killer.